Okay, we will start with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour or cake flour. And we need to sift to avoid the lungs. And two tablespoons of cocoa powder. One teaspoon of salt. Okay, then sift and mix them all together until well combined. Okay, and then set aside all, all of those dry ingredients and prepare for the wet ingredients. Okay, then we need a uh, half cup of unsalted butter. Okay, then slowly put and mix the one and a half cup of granulated sugar. In the halfway of mixing it, we need to add uh, two eggs, one at a time. Mix it until it become foamy or until the sugar melted. Okay, and then now we can add two tablespoon of vanilla essence. Then mix again. I know we already got the right one, so now we can add now the dry ingredients, which is the uh, flour mixture. Slowly putting it, put uh, one fourth first, then another half, then put the rest of the half of the other. And then now we can add a quarter of the cup of uh, vegetable oil or sunflower oil or you can use also the light olive oil. Okay, and then that's done. We can set aside. And prepare the buttermilk, but we don't have the buttermilk, so I need to do the alternative. So we have the lemon. We can put the one tablespoon of lemon in one cup of fresh milk or whole milk. Then stir and leave it. Put it put in the side and leave it for ten minutes. So after 10 minutes, we can you see that when we have those lumps already, so that's uh, good for like a buttermilk. Then add 2 teaspoons of red food coloring.
Okay, after we mix them, then we can prepare the butter and put the food coloring in it with the milk. You then slowly stir and be careful. Then mix. Okay, that's the right texture already. We can set aside and decorate the good red velvet cake. You need to put some one teaspoon of a baking soda. Okay. And add one tablespoon of vinegar. So the acids mix together and it will bubbles. It sits boiling. Okay, then right away you can put the mixture to your butter. Then mix and make sure that, that after you're mixing you can put right away in your uh, baking pan or, or then put in the oven immediately. Prepare your molder before you uh, put the acid on the butter so that you can put it right away in your uh, molder then put in the oven as soon as possible. Okay, then fill half each of the molder. While doing this, make sure that your oven is already preheated at 170 or 180 degrees Celsius. The degrees is it depends upon your oven. Sometimes the oven are very hot, sometimes they are not. You need to observe your oven. Bake 20 to 25 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. While waiting for the bread, we need to, we will prepare now the cream cheese frosting. So we have, uh, we need to save four cups of confectioner sugar. Check the bread and it's done. Take out from the oven and let it cool for a few minutes. And then scrape on the side and remove from the molder. So leave it there until it will completely cool down. So I can use only the big one and the small one. I will use it tomorrow. Then now we need to prepare the cream cheese frosting while waiting for the bread to cool down. So for the frosting, we need one and a half cup of unsalted butter. And then mix for a while. Then put one uh, bar of Philadelphia cream cheese or whatever cream cheese you have. And then mix them together. Okay, then now we can add the sifted confectioner sugar or a powdered sugar. Oh, put half first, then mix slowly. Then you can put another, the other half later. Then one te teaspoon of vanilla essence. And teaspoon of salt to balance the taste. Then now you can use the mixer and mix until the consistency is fine and soft like this. Put inside the fridge the frosting for 30 minutes. 
Before you will bring out the frosting from the fridge, you need to cut into half the bread and slice on the top. Cut in the middle to put the filling. Sorry about that worker at home. So we cut the excess on the top and we can use this later. Set aside and put in a bowl and crumbs it and we can use for decorations after. And that's the way I cut it. Hope it's good. Frosting time. Put a generous amount for the filling and don't be so stingy so this is the bread top i want to reverse it's easier to put the frosting that's it press a little bit so that it won't collapse So it's done putting the frosting. Now we are using the crumbs from the uh, bread top that we sliced before. So this is it. I crumbs them then use for decoration. That's it. And that's my red velvet cake. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Please do comment, like and subscribe. Thank you, Makaro. See you next time for my next video. Love you. God bless.